Hi, and uh, hi, everybody. Hi, hi. Uh, first of all, congratulations on uh, on a league of their own. It's it isn't an easy task to take a movie and make it into a a series that people are going to watch. But I oh, went I through the first few episodes, and this reminds me so much of Mash and how they did that. I mean, it's cool. It's got such a great cast of characters. It's got some wonderful direction, and uh, it's it's just a lovely show. So congratulations! Oh my thank gosh, you. comparing it to Mash, what a, I had not thought of that. That's thank you. Really That's cool. cool. That's and I'm cool. out of here. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's my time. <laughs> uh, I'll start with Darcy. Uh, your character Greta is uh, got so many layers to her. What a great acting role this is. Lucky me. Yeah, I I uh, I agree. I I loved Greta on site. I uh, I read the pilot and was just I need to be her. I love her. I get her. I know her. I want to know her. I I just loved her, and the way the writers, you know, sort of slowly peeled peeled back the layers, you know, um, and it, yeah, I really feel so lucky that I got to be her. I miss her. Mm-hmm. Don't you feel that way? Don't you Definitely. miss Joe? Definitely miss her. Yeah. Yeah, and and Melanie Joe DeLuca is uh, Joe DeLuca. Joe DeLuca. <laughs> well, you know, hey. Yeah, hey. exactly. <laughs> Spicy meatball. Just, just a wonderfully bright and <sighs> and 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 effervescent character. You yeah. know, oh, this man. is such a great role too. I'm so glad that that that's coming across. I was in love with Joe from the second I read the pilot. Um, just got her and was obsessed with how she navigates the world how she walks through the world her relationship with Greta was super interesting to me her relationship with humor and um her passion and yeah I I just I do miss her I actually miss getting to put her on every day um hopefully there'll be more yeah (laughs) you know and historically I mean the 1940s were not you know a favorable time for women you know and then the war breaks out and Women are, are, you know, taking over man's jobs and, right. and uh, you know, coming into their own, so to speak. And I, I love the way that the, 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 the series reflects that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it is. It's, it's crazy to think about, you know, it's um, 80 years ago mm-hmm. and so much has changed yet. So little has changed. Mm-hmm. And um, the, the feeling of like these women getting to sort of like live out their dreams and, be everything they've ever wanted to be, but the fear of it all going away. And, you know, there's sort of the, are people taking us seriously and all the fears that go along with that. And, and then sort of them turning to each other and and realizing like, well, we have it now. Let's take advantage. Like this is it. So let's, let's, let's write it out. Well, I'll start with Melanie on this last question. And then hopefully we can get some answers. The costumes, how do they inform your characters? Because they must be terribly difficult to maneuver in. Um, you know, the, the, co- the, for me, the peaches uniform was, was the least difficult for, for me, for me, it was the, um, you know, the, these women had a lot of strict rules about dress code outside of the game. And so a lot of our characters would have much preferred to wear pants, yeah. but couldn't wear pants in public. So Joe wore a lot of skirts and it really did not feel natural at all <laughs> for her. And I like was saying just recently, like I started to develop this like walk in the skirt that felt very strange. Um, so it was su- the costuming was very very helpful. Your face us. would even change when you were wearing it, when you were wearing a skirt. Your you had a I little bit like of like a, a toddler grimace. who yes, had like exactly. put in a skirt and was like, oh. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. did feel that way. Yeah, we had an incredible costume department. Yeah. Tracy Field was our was our costume designer, and you know I really wanted it to look correct. Yeah. And she, you know, used a lot of vintage, and they made some stuff. And I, I, I God, I love those clothes. Oh. It was, it was, I took mostly my pictures like are in my dressing room. Just like, I'm like, I am a style I moment right these, now with yeah. these like high waisted pants. Yeah. We really, um, they, I, in watching, watching it back, mm. it, I, I was sort of blown away by how yeah, good the great. clothes look. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping the studio sends me, uh, you know, your, uh, your, your, uh, baseball cards. Oh yeah. Yeah. We would Ooh, like that too. That'd cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Congratulations. And, uh, uh, it's it's just such a delightful show. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Cool. Howdy. How are you guys doing? Good, how, how are, are you? you? I'm great. I get to talk with you guys. Um, first of all, congratulations on, on such a great series. Uh, I was 
telling this to everybody, I, it reminds me so much of when MASH started, um, you know, being from a movie to a, to a television series and then all the great characters and how rich um, that, that is to have a lot of these great characters to mine from. And so uh, I, think, I think a league of their own is going to have a lot of good legs and, and have a lot of seasons to come. Yeah, a lot of good legs. <laughs> so sorry. Molly, it is so Maybelline. You set it up. And I had... A home run right there. Yeah. Molly, I'll start with you. Uh, talk right. to me a little bit about Maybell. <sighs> Maybell's all sass, you know. She's she's just a little blonde bombshell that also is a total nut. Mm-hmm. Um no, just just a real blast and based loosely off of Maybell Blair. Um who is, you know, 95 and just a total spitfire. Um, I don't know, just uh, sort of a mama bear, a little bit of a cheerleader. All of those rolled into one. Mm-hmm. Uh, does, she, d- does she work and play well with others? Oh, yes. Oh, very much so. No, I don't think Mabel's... Maybe it doesn't have any beefs. She's uh, <laughs> she's everybody's buddy. Well, Sahida, you 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 have such a great and rich character yourself. I mean, uh, you know, we're talking about the 1940s. We're talking about women working in factories. You know, and, and as men go off to war, and there is a richness in your character about you know knowing who she is. Oh, absolutely, and being determined. You know, Tony doesn't work in the factories because she has her own business. She's the first black female to own a business in Rockford in our story. And uh, there's great responsibility with that. But, you know, she's ambitious, much like Max. They're very ambitious in different ways. And so I think that Tony, you know, yes, this might be a challenge, but it's something that she knows that she can overcome, especially because she wants to be an example for her daughter. Uh, you know, it's hot where you guys are, are shooting. It's it's uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Do the costumes with those baseball uniforms hinder you? Well, <laughs> I was um I was shooting from like six to eight months pregnant, so I had this whole other sort of thing that was keeping me hot and tired and with swollen feet and um, you know that business. But the peaches outfit actually hit her pretty well. So he do you are you uncomfortable in the costumes as well? Um, no, I mean they were wonderful because they were vintage. The shoes I did not like the shoes. Yeah. The shoes were there was no support. It was just, and you know of course it was a heel. These those white shoes I wear in the revival, oof, I could burn them. But otherwise, I really love them. <laughs> I really enjoy the costume. In our last minutes, and I'm sorry these interviews are so short because I could talk to you guys all day. Um, uh, what do you think audiences are going to take away from discovering a league of their own? It's really exciting because we we are welcoming back with very open arms all of the fans of the original film and also bringing in new generations that maybe have seen the film, heard about it, but uh, but are going to be coming to our show with fresh eyes. Yeah. And also for everyone, new or old, have you seen the film or not, you're going to get a more expanded view of the world in the 1940s. Three, 1943. That's what you're going to get. You're going to have more people of color represented, queer people represented. So, and there's also a lot of humor. So, you're going to well, laugh a lot. There should be humor in everything we do because absolutely, Agreed. you can't laugh and then you you got to cry. You know, right on. <laughs> I hope they come out with trading cards for you guys every every season. This is on. Yeah, oh. that would be fun. They've been doing those like baseball cards for the um for the social stuff. Yes, for Insta on Instagram, I've seen. But them. my uncle asked if we were going to have actual baseball cards. Yeah. So for my uncle's sake, yeah, with stats. My mother too. That would be great. great. Guys, take care. It was lovely to meet you, and congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice meeting you too. Thank you. Thank you. It's such a fun series. And I, I've been saying this all day. It reminds me of how MASH started with, you know, an incredibly nice. gifted Whoa. ensemble cast and then focusing on stories on every, uh, this really has those kind of legs. And um, yeah. w- 
what a great what a great series to be part of. I'll I'll, I'll start with Roberta. Talk to me a little bit about Lupe. Uh, Lupe, as you have seen, is a very complicated uh, person, and she has a complicated relationship to herself and the way that she is seen by the world and how she wants to be seen, and I, it, it creates a lot of kind of uh, friction uh, uh, in her life. But I think that she's, you know, at, at her core, a, a soft loving person and is afraid of that, but is also, you know, <laughs> when she's with these two people in particular, I think that something kind of, you know, unexpectedly comes out of her and, and, and yeah, it's a fun, it's a very fun role. And Priscilla Esty is, uh, is, is a pretty interesting character. She really has a lot of layers to her. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. She she is Cuban. She's coming from La Habana directly to play at the, at the Rockford Peaches. She, she plays second base and she's going to have a very tough journey um, there <laughs> at Chicago, right at Rockford. Um, uh, yeah, she's she's going to try to find her place. Um, that language barrier is over there. It's going to be very hard for her, but she's really excited. Everything's new. The hot dogs, the hamburgers, <laughs> the cinema. She, she's absolutely, she's absolutely happy about that experience. But, you know, um, she's away from home. Cuba is very far away. She's away from him, her mom, her family. This is a great opportunity to send money over there and help the family. She has to stay strong. But she's not gonna find a, a a support, not in Lupe even that that she's Latina too. So that's gonna be very frustrating, very heartbreaking, breaking for her, and she's gonna find her best way to survive and play the best baseball she can. <laughs> and Kelly, what do you like about Jess uh, in playing her? Uh, I really love playing um, athletes. I like playing people who care pretty much exclusively about sports and that, that sort of mentality, that sort of like all in, uh, I think for Jess, the game of baseball is not just a sport. It's, it's, you know, it's like their war. It's this like, you know, attempt to be a part of something and, and to fight and to, you know, put their, their whole self into, um, and also, you know, it's fun to play the one who sort of doesn't talk much and smokes and broods, you know, like I've never played <laughs> I'm always I'm always playing characters who are like talking all the time. So it was kind of a nice fun thing. You really smoked a lot. I smoked so yeah, much. Yeah, that's true. Oh my and gosh. I've never smoked a day in my life. And then after the show, I was like, should I? Yeah. <laughs> and then my mom was like, no, don't, yeah. don't start don't, now. That's so weird. <laughs> don't go down that path. No, 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 no. no, no. Don't I go won't. Back. Don't worry. It, it, I got or do, it. but do it with a drink. You know, it <laughs> I got over it. <laughs> Uh, Roberta, uh, are the costumes uh, restricting at all? I mean, it looks like they're comfortable, but you have to play baseball in them. Yeah, you know, I actually, I, it, I didn't, it didn't occur to me like how, even though I'd seen the movie and there's like the whole thing with the, it's a, once you're out there, you're like, wait a second, what if, what if you had a slide like that? Your whole <laughs> leg would get torn up, which is actually kind of yeah. antithetical to the idea of remaining beautiful. You know, it's, it's just yeah. like, how are they, how are these women expected to do both, you know, play with such like, you know, with such carnage and just stay gorgeous all yeah. the time. So um, it was very comfortable though, the dress. Oh yeah. Right? That was really, and we wore little shorts underneath, which yeah. is really fun. You know? It was a million degrees. It was yeah. a million degrees the I'm entire Canadian, time. It was so hot. Or and very like, cold. It would, there was no yeah. difference. But I think in general, like these women played like a hundred and a hundred and like twenty something games per per season. These women were playing like more than one game a day, you know. And so, and I think that that it was actually hopefully uh, nice to be in these dresses because yeah. they got some they got some. The airflow. thing that was not comfortable was the cloth. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah the gloves. Very hard to catch. Yeah. The bat was super heavy. Yeah. Not yeah, good, yeah. but like the dress was comfy. Yeah. comfy. And it's just like, look good. We all look so good. Yeah. yeah. You, know? you give up so much for your art. And That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for uh, for the interview. And, and again, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.